All right, so today we'll be trying to extract Fibonacci sequences from data using tech chart. So these are two packages that you will need. We're going to write a function where we pass in the ticker and we get the Fibonacci sequences. So first, let's call this the fibs. All right, so our first task is to get the data We will get the sequence by using find pivots. Here type. We have two options, either support resistance or Fibonacci sequence. So we'll use fibs. Let's test it out. So these are our sequences. All right, so since this is a list, we need to combine them. So we use fibs val cbind as data frame. Fibs results value paste place the second value with its strength. Next, I'll round everything to two decimal places. I'll change the column names. Next, we'll get the close. We'll round that to two decimal places. Next, we will calculate the retracement values. But first, let's take a look at a chart. So since we called the data since 1990, it used up all the data. So our maximum value is the high point here. Our min value is this point here. The ratios are in between. So we'll close this out. So again, this is our max. This is our min. All right, so we'll add the ratios here. So the first one is the zero, next is the 0 0.236. Next I'm going to calculate the percentage difference between the Fibonacci and the closing price.
finally just return this table. I want to add an argument here. So we'll clean this up. I want to add a couple more columns. First thing I want to add. Here's the closing price. The next thing I want to add is the from. And lastly, two. Go ahead and give this a try. So now we get a better understanding of these ratios, the current closing price, from and to dates, the ratios, and then the percentage difference between the closing price and the fit. We'll save it under fibs. And we'll add a chart. Here's our Fibonacci ratios. All right guys, so let me know what you think. Write down any questions down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.